my camera is basically right next to this action I tell you <laughs> I'm not that comfortable doing this I am totally on top of this right underneath this truck at night redback spiders all around me crikey's if ever there was an award for stupidness well this is it warning this highly educational video about spider control shows deadly spiders conventional methods of spider control and unconventional methods of spider control. If you have a fear of spiders lurking around children's toys laying in the backyard, this video is not for you. Before we get into deadly spider zone, let's have a trip back in time, back to November 2016, and be reminded how I set up the toys and ornaments in the backyard to try to stop deadly spider infestation. So it's a pretty simple experiment. Is it a myth about WD-40? It might have been one of the sales reps from the company that landed the comment. It's like that these days online, I've noticed. Will the grater there that has no WD-40 allow the red backs to come back? That is the big question. Or will the ones that have been sprayed with WD-40 deter the red backs from setting up nest again? It's worthy to note Mrs. Owl is not sprayed with WD-40, nor is Mrs. Cow. They're both clean, and so are the other two ornaments over there. Ah, yes. Do you remember that palaba? Well, a year has passed. The toys and ornaments haven't been moved. And we're going to come in and check out to see exactly what's gone on. Hmm. I wonder if we'll find any of those nasty, deadly redback spiders. There's nighttime Fluffy. What are you doing, Fluff? What are you looking for? Yes, well, what I want to really start this video off with is sort of behind Fluffy. Out of the way, girl. Out of the way. Oh, there goes Fluffy's tail. And we'll head up to these toys here. It's sort of time to take a look what's going on up here. I've come here at night because at night you start to get a feel for the dynamic of what's going on here. These toys have been laying out here untouched for a year. Uh, last year they were totally infested with redback spiders. And I can see the infestation is back again. The more I look around these toys here at night, the more redback spider web I can see. It is literally everywhere. Now what I find very alarming is I know this toy here and that one there, uh, they were both sprayed with WD-40. Yeah, this one here wasn't. That's the one which has been left natural. It was a brand new toy left here one year ago. I can't see much web going on there, but we'll take a look during the day when it comes around. And this toy here was also heavily sprayed at WD and it's got redback spider web right there. I'm also noticing a lot of little critters around and if I come down here, that is one of the things dun, 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 that the redback spiders love to eat. That's the black beetles that we see this time of year. Hmm. I'm sort of wondering whether I put the beetle into the web here, we'll get some action, hey? You never know. So if that beetle keeps making beetle moves, eventually it's going to trigger the redback spider. If you look in the middle of the screen there, moving around very fast, I believe that's a juvenile redback spider. It's extremely small, moving very erratically. Hope I hope you can see it there, and I think this place is alive with spiders of that size. Hmm. I can see down on the ground there, I'll try and point at them, uh, some very, very small cicada shells. That's like little bush cicadas we get in Australia. I'm just coming over to the side of this truck here, and I've noticed, and it's a little bit small to see, but we'll go in closer, a little bit of a horror show. Right in the middle of the screen there, and I'll move the camera around a bit so you can see it a bit easier. Another juvenile redback spider. Looks like it's got something there that it's caught. Hmm. These spiders have really uh, got a lot of work going on here. The more I look here, the more web that I see. It's all up between the vehicles. It's down inside the shovel areas here. There could be very small spiders set up in there. This strange, it's strange, this one, this vehicle here seems fairly clean. It's got me a bit puzzled, okay? There's a little, little bit of web at the front there. Although, now I look here, uh, there's web through here. If I put my finger in there, maybe it'll you start to see it, okay? I'm uh, still waiting for the redback spider to appear to take out that beetle there, and I've got a sneaky suspicion it's actually living up underneath here. I can see a pony ant down on the ground there. I've got a sneaky suspicion there, my friends, in this redback battle. Yes, my friends, I hope. Right in the middle of the screen, I'll move the camera a bit. You might be able to see it. It's an extremely tiny juvenile redback spider. These girls are everywhere. Mrs. Beetle is now doing some web acrobatics. She's actually moved around the web a fair bit. 
And that movement is going to trigger the red back spider. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the magic to happen, but it will happen. Well, I've got some different sort of action going on here. There is a Crucius beetle, uh, which has got caught up in the web here, and I think it got attracted by my light. And that's a fairly good sized red back spider controlling that quite powerful beetle. Wow, that thing came out of nowhere. Look at that, the red back spider tidying it up nicely. Now I've got under the truck now, I'm right in the red back spider's web, I don't want to be. But we're seeing a fantastic show of the way these red back spiders work naturally, hey? Ooh, look at that. Wow, she's a keeper, that one, isn't she, hey? The way she's working. And those beetles are very, very powerful, very strong. I bet you she's got some bites in, wow. That is just scary to watch. Very, very scary. I've gotten in closer again, as silly as that sounds, I'm right under the truck and just watching this red bag doing her work. And we've seen that many times in the spider tank, but now I'm seeing it underneath those Tonka toys in the backyard. This is what goes on at night around these toys. Okay, we're seeing the red back spiders in their natural environment. Extremely scary. I've gone in closer again. I'm just hoping that's in focus. I've got a torch underneath my camera. It's very, very ragtag, but boy, oh boy, it's exciting, I tell you. I just hope I'm not going to get bitten by a spider myself. It's not a very Merry Christmas for that beetle, I can tell you. It's a goner. So it's showing me there are some uh, fairly mature female ribbacks under these trucks. That's scary. Well, that's the death zone under there, and that's one of the trucks that got heavily sprayed with WD-40. And if we go up to the uh, the first black beetle, I think I've seen what I needed to see. No, I can't see Mrs. Redback coming out yet, and that beetle is actually still there. I'll just put the tweezers down to where it is. It's sort of gone to sleep in the web because it's trying to make out it's not there. As I showed with that giant Redback I had underneath my Toyota car, uh, these spiders can be extremely hard to uh, perform for camera. They're very, very much a nocturnal spider. They love to work in total darkness. But uh, what we saw underneath that truck there is the perfect starter for this video. And that poor beetle is still under there. Sorry, beetle, but, you know, Redback's got to feed. And the Redback is coming down, uh, doing some more binding there. There'll be lots and lots of that to contain that very strong beetle. It just keeps deploying more and more web, and the beetle just keeps trying to fight it off. Uh, I can only assume it's got some bites into that beetle. It does take a long time for the venom to affect the beetles. I remember seeing that spider tank, but that little red back is not going to give up until it's won that battle. That's the sort of little critters they are. They just never give up. My camera is basically right next to this action, I tell you. <laughs> um, I'm not that comfortable doing this. I am totally on top of this, right underneath this truck at night. Redback spiders all around me. Yes, um, you know, you watch this sort of stuff, and I mean, I could sort of watch it for, for a very long time. It's the sort of thing you don't see because it happens in the middle of the night. You're about to, you know, sleep inside, and this is going on in the backyard all the time. Well, it is at my place because... Well, my place is totally infested with these redback spiders. They are everywhere. Well, if ever there was a good night sister shot, well, I think that's it, eh? Christmas beetle reeling in redback spider death. I'm really pleased they came out here tonight so we can see the dynamics of what's going on around these toys. Lots and lots of redback spiders. Now, one little thing I'll say to these girls, tonight is going to be your last supper because, well, let's say tomorrow, is going to be a very different day. Rightio, obviously it's daytime, it is the next day. <laughs> the nightmare which unfolded here last night, quite astonishing, hey? But if you looked around here during the daytime, well, you'd have to look very carefully to understand uh, the dangers that are lurking around these toys. I'm not surprised at all. Well, part of me surprised, part of me isn't surprised. This was a truck here where that poor Christmas beetle is somewhere up there. Oh, <laughs> do we want to go there? But uh, would a small child come along and see the danger that is around these toys? Mm, I'm not sure. I just noticed here in front of one of the graders, that is a beautiful metallic Christmas beetle. Oh man, the Redbacks would love to get hold of this thing here and it is right in the danger zone. There's a close look at that beetle. I can see my reflection in the front of that beetle. That is quite amazing. 
and often underneath they are beautifully metallic as well look at that there how does nature pull that off i have trouble getting that look in photoshop but nature does it oh so easily because that beetle's so beautiful we should do the right thing we'll just let it go on the tree there and it can have a happy beetle life away from them spiders these toys on garden ornaments here have been resting idle for a year you can go back and look at the other video to fully understand what i did but to condense the story i put wd-40 uh over what was it three of the toys i believe this one here this one here uh this new grater here didn't get sprayed i hope i'm correct there and the burnout grater there certainly got a whack of wd the other ornaments there the small toy mrs cow and mrs pig they didn't get any wd treatment either I kept a very close eye on this area over the year. We had an extremely dry winter. Our seasons are reversed to the people in the Northern Hemisphere. I think the first sign of spiders that I saw was basically, well, the last weeks of winter and the first weeks of spring. There was like a transition time. And I think from memory, the first webs I saw were around the bucket, very small webs. I do believe they are redbacks, very tiny, tiny redbacks. Uh, but the other thing I was seeing at that time was a lot of ant activity and even now I can see ants on some of these toys. Now I'm starting to understand maybe ants are my biggest ally here in trying to control these redback spiders. I've seen the most ant activity on this grater here and this was the one which was not sprayed with WD-40. This is really important to remember okay so when we come to look at this grater here who knows we may find no spiders at all. So I'm going to come along and start on picking this. I've already showed you and verified with you from the footage I took last night. This place is infested. I bet you there's a redback spider up inside Mrs. Cow. It's going to be quite interesting to see where the spiders are and where the spiders aren't. If ever there was a time to find a pair of gloves, it is right now. I think the first thing I'll inspect is Mrs. Cow. She has been the silent witness to all this for the last year. Okay, we'll take a look up inside her other area for spidey. To my shock, horror and utter amazement, uh, it actually looks pretty clean up there. Very, very surprising. A few webs, but I can't see any big spideys. Where Mrs. Cow's feet were, I know there's a lot of ant activity here. So, uh, you know, I keep thinking the ants are my friends in this spider battle. There's an ant right there. That was where Mrs. Cow was. Just to give Mrs. Cow the all clear, I'll hit her with some flame. And she'll be hot to trot. The flame will take out any small spiders in there. And because we're friends of Mrs. Cow, I will pick her up by the tail here and give her a nice, cool bath. Ah, she feels better now. Mrs. Flying Pig, uh, it's a strange ornament, this one, because it's a metallic ball. Wow, it's sort of secured into the ground. It's been here, well, it's been here for a year, untouched. Let's take a look. Oh, that's curious. Okay, let's take a look what's going on here. I can see uh, cicadas here, a lot of cicada shells actually, another one here, holes, and looks like cicada holes there, yes, and I dare say if we look nice and closely there'd be lots of ant activity there as well, hmm, right in the middle of the screen is a pony ant, the pony ants are my friends, they're quite an evil ant, I've just noticed something weird there, some sort of egg thing going on there. I know my audience can ID that one for me, yes. Hmm, oh, what is that? Lots of things going by, more ants, yeah. In fact, that may be a pony ant nest. Should I be poking around in that or not? They're my friends, if it is one of their nests. I'm sort of not a fan of these metal ornaments now that I've seen the dynamics that are set up around them. I can see small web here, which is going to be very hard to see. But I can also see ants crawling around in this ornament as well. And it's when we turn little pig over okay more cicada shells yeah okay i'd say the ants have had easy access to this pig that's kept the spiders at bay and i've just noticed something there wow it's uh, some sort of ant nest activity i believe yes uh, ants are my friends in this fight the most sensible thing for me to do here is put mrs pig back uh because if i flamethrower that i'm getting rid of the things that i need around Okay, so, yep, uh, Mrs. Pig can reclaim her very, very precious spot. Oink, oink. Mrs. Pelican might be like Mrs. Pig. I can actually see ants crawling around Mrs. Pelican. Again, she might be the perfect thing to leave be. Because that ant nest was down there by the feet. 
and you know if I'm seeing ants well the best thing is I'm not seeing spiders I can't see any spider web there uh, no spider web because no ants so we'll leave Mrs Pelican to her own devices before I look at that truck there, I'll take a look at Mrs. Owl. She's been up on a rock and sort of away from the ground. Now, one thing about redback spiders is they would sort of prefer to be connected to the ground where all little bugs are. Come here, Mrs. Owl, time for inspection. I have mixed emotions about Mrs. Owl. I'm seeing uh, web activity up there. Yes, definitely, I can see it. I don't know whether you're seeing it clearly because the feet are in the way. Uh... Yes, I can't see any ants, so I'm sorry, but you're getting a firebomb. Mrs. Owl does her best work laying down. Okay, a little bit of fire, and whatever's alive there will be dead. I'm absolutely sure of it. Wow, Mrs. Owl, you're looking hot tonight. And I'll do the right thing by Mrs. Owl. I'll pick her up and we'll send her over to the pool with Mrs. Pig. Woo, she's feeling much better now. Okay, time for this little tractor here. This is a sort of toy I really liked as a kid. It's got like a bulldozer -y thing, scoop at the front and a digger on the back. Yeah, so I wonder what's going on here. Hmm. I've got a sneaky suspicion uh, there was juvenile spider activity on this toy here. It's one of these toys that doesn't present many hidey holes for redbacks. They love to get up into places where they can recluse because they're very reclusive type spiders. Uh, I'm actually seeing web here. Okay, yeah, look at that there. Okay, it's enough to warrant a firebomb. Did I ever tell you about the tractor driver who asked for flames to be painted down the side of his truck? You know what he got? This. <laughs> well, if there are any little critters in there, well, they're going to be gone now. Yeah! Oh dear, it's got that slumpy, sinking feeling. I better put it that, eh? Wishka! At least there's no spiders on that now. And it's got a really cool suspension method. Look at that. Yeah, it drives real nice. So where I'm picking the spider zone piece by piece, the next piece we're going to take a look at, and this was the grater that was heavily infested, had the great big horrible giant red back in it plus the eggs was this one here now I know there is a red back on this uh, grater here because there is the web here I, had, I actually saw it last night I didn't get didn't get it on camera it's only a small female okay and in a funny way you can tell that by this type of web that they make I'll just very carefully turn this over and we'll just see what we see hey yes remember this has been sitting here untouched for a year Okay, look, looking for things which might be scampering away. You just never know what you're going to find. Okay. Bringing back some very uh, vivid memories. The holes there, I'll just go into the holes, was where the spider was creeping up inside the toy, up into the plastic components inside. Yes, I think it was very much a warning for any parents who got these toys out in the backyard, especially in Australia. Now, the redback spider is somewhere here. Um... It's one of these things, in the daytime they are extremely reclusive, extremely hard to see, even at night time they're the hardest things to make appear. At the moment it's not jumping out at me. One of their favourite zones is inside the wheels here of these sorts of toys and your garbage bins. Uh, but the one thing I would say here is I can't see any egg sacs, it was only a small female I saw last night. And I can only assume she's actually tucked herself right up inside this area here. I was hoping to see the black beetle that was uh, left there for her. I can't see that either. It may have got away. I can't see anything else there. I have seen ants uh, crawling around in this. Okay, uh, time to clean this one up. I'd like to actually see the spider. I know one way to make her appear, and she'll appear quite fast. If I spray this mortine fast knockdown on, that might make her jump up. <laughs> In much surprise, but I might try this product here, this eucalyptus spray. Yeah. So this is where you have to look very carefully to see if anything does appear. And if she gets any inkling of a spray, I'm hoping she starts to come out. Well, we can start to see a web a lot better, can't we? Yeah, I dare say she's in there because there's a lot of a lot of web fangly danglies uh, going on there. I'm not seeing her jump out. I tell you what, it's smelling a whole lot sweeter, that's for sure. That there is definitely the web structure they make uh, near the little hidey holes. I might try another spray. Uh, the Mortine Fast Knockdown. 
This may bring all oh man, I'm flooding it. And that'll be enough, I can tell you. Let's see if she pops out. Hmm, I don't like this, I can't see, and that's <laughs> that's the problem with these spiders. They're sort of spooky in the way they hide away. I'm sort of surprised, but not surprised. Um, mm, don't like it when I don't see them. Well, I know one thing that's going to bring her out. And this method is very non-selective. Well, if she is in there, it's a good night, sister! I think she struggled to survive that. In fact, I'm sure of it. I do feel happier now because I've matched the front of the grader design to look like the rear. I can't stand an unbalanced design. And I'm looking there in the uh, molten plastic there. I can't see Mrs. Red back at all. Mind you, she's a black spider. She's going to be very hard to see in that mess. Well, that front area there just uh, molten down like that. That's where I believe she may have been hiding. Not a sign of her. Maybe she knew I was going to turn up today. I've just got three more vehicles to go through and look out for spiders. I certainly know this end one here has got spider activity going on. And let's just take a look at something that I set up last year to stop spiders. This is the pot that had the red back spider nest up under here. Now, I put Vaseline up under here and you know what? There's not a sign of any spiders. I'm perfectly safe to put my hand under here. There is not a sign of red back spiders or anything going on in this handle area. That would be a death sentence for me last year doing that. I know there'll be some people saying, oh, come on there, you're pulling our leg here. No, 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 this is a really simple, effective way of stopping spiders. You might get a couple of very small webs set up, but the maturing spiders can't handle being up against the Vaseline. Yes, it's a little bit messy and grubby. Okay, look at that, okay? But it's an absolutely surefire way to stop spiders on these pots. I'll just give you a very quick demo of how I set that pot up last year and what I'm going to use is a very small weed dragon to clean underneath the pot. I think a really effective way of getting rid of web and any spiders if they were there is just a little bit of flame like that. You don't need much, a bit of a lick like that is totally clean. I just noticed a stink bug there. Good night sister, gone. I think it's still kicking, I better finish it off. Okay, dusted. I'm hoping everyone knows petroleum jelly. I've got no connection to whoever does this product. Uh, you tend to use a lot of it in this process and on a warm day like today, it actually goes to liquid and that's what you want to have. You get a bit of a brush, get the stuff on your brush. And it's as simple as getting the Vaseline up there and you've got to be nice and thorough. It's about being thorough. Don't worry if you're putting too much on there. It's a bit like the more the merry. Now what I found out during our very hot summer last year was that all the Vaseline that I put up here sort of drooped down, but hey, that's okay. Spiders can't stand Vaseline. And of course, the handle area here is really important to have done properly. You've got to put the brush right up there, try and get all the corners. Uh, it's very much a job that needs to be done thoroughly. What I like about this method is you're not using those pesky chemicals and spider sprays and things that promise six months, you know, no spiders. I'm pretty sure this will have an effect for a very, very long time. If you're trying to do this on a cooler day, what you'll find is the Vaseline won't go to liquid like this. You have to put this bowl into, let's say, another bowl of very hot water and it will start to pull it down and break it down like this. You need it to be fluid like this to do the painting properly. Now, another product that I've found which is pretty good at making it uncomfortable for spiders is this one here. It's called White Lithium Grease. I've got no commercial connection to people who make this or anything else you see in this video. I just wish they sent boxes of this stuff out. Who's behind this WD-40 company? Please send some of this out for me. This stuff has proven to me to be very effective. Let me just push over my yellow bin, which was set up on August 31st, 2017. Let's look for spideys. As I'm making this video, well, let's just say it's three months on. It's certainly enough time for Redback Spider or whatever spider they come and make a home here. Let me just get a torch on here. Okay, I've got a torch going there. Now we are looking for spider, spider web, anything that looks like red back nightmare. Can we see anything up there? I know you'll be screaming, over oh, there, we can see stuff and you can't see it. You know what? That, to me, looks pretty clean. 
The other very typical zone is around the spokes of these wheels here. They've got plenty of lithium grease on that. I can't see any spiders. And the same can be said for the other side. Yes, it's certainly enough time to have gone by for spiders to set back up in here. And now I'm looking up underneath the lip, up near the lid of these bins, and anyone who has these bins knows this is spider zone. I put tons of white lithium grease up here. We're looking for spiders, we're looking for spider webs. It has done a very, very good job at stopping the spiders from setting up home. And maybe the best example is to show you the, well, the front side of this bin because it's designed in a like perfect spider environment. If I get up nice and close there, spiders love shapes like this. I can't see any spider activity up there at all. Not a skerrick of spider activity. I just hope we're learning something in this. That's the product one more time. It works really, really well. And the other thing I threw a whole ton of white lithium grease at was this wheelbarrow here. Oh man, this had a redback spider infestation. That was criminal. Let's take a look underneath. The white lithium grease, it sprays white. I actually don't mind that because at least you can see where I've sprayed it there. And of course, we'll go up and look in the wheel area here. The sun's just popped out of me. It's going to fry me. And it looks like it is nice and clean, okay? You might get a small spider trying it on, but I don't think the adults can set up against this stuff here. I did the insides, the outsides of the wheels. I also did this area here because there was spiders setting up in that little bit of metalwork there. And also that zone there. Wow, the spiders love to live there as well. I sort of wonder what the relationship is of white lithium grease to Vaseline because when I touch this, it feels very, very similar. Hopefully that's enough educational blah blah so I don't get botted out of YouTube anymore. Flip it over and throw the lithium grease one more time, yeah. Right now the sun's creeping across now. And the other thing I should have said about last night when I was looking here, I didn't see any male uh, redback spiders there. Rather small, they look like they got little pom-poms in front of them, like they're tiny spiders. And they're nowhere near as spectacular as the females. Uh, the next vehicle we'll take a look at is this. This was a new grade of, uh, last year. It was never sprayed at WD-40 yet. It had a lot of ant activity on it and still has. If I go up the back there, if you look very carefully on that twig there. Yes, ants want to hide. Every time you put a camera on an ant, they hide. They must know they're being videoed. But there is a little bit of web activity here on this front wheel there. Very much juvenile female activity. I think in essence these vehicles have got a whole bunch of teenage girls hanging out. Oh man, there's actually a lot of ant activity here. Uh-huh, there might be, yes. I, actually, I can see a lot of uh, ant things going on. I think there's an ant nest here. I'm going to say there's going to be no redback spiders around because the ants are my friends. Okay, there's a bit of web I can see up inside. Oh, is it web or... Yeah, a little bit of web inside. Let's get... Oh, there's a lot of activity going on on the ground there, which I'll take a look at soon. Okay, this is underneath this truck. And it was... Oh, there's lots of ants in this. In fact, the thing might be an ant nest, eh? Hmm. It was these holes here, right in the middle of the screen, uh, that were being used on the truck last year as a redback nest. There's the ant nest there, or well, one of the holes. A lot of ants in this zone. I'm in two minds what to do here. Because I'm seeing the ants uh, love this vehicle, I'm going to leave it here, but I'm going to do some selective spraying of eucalyptus spray, uh, just where I know the little redbacks were hanging out. And I think the wheel on the other side is the same. I love those wheel areas. Also get on the inside of the wheel as well, if that makes any sense. Okay. I'm absolutely certain I saw lots of ant activity on this, really, uh, for the bulk of the year that this was here, so I'm going to put this one back. Okay, it's a keeper. Um, where there's ants, there's no spiders. I'm getting cooked alive at the moment because it's becoming quite a hot day. We'll take a look at this vehicle next. Uh, this is just a cheap Aldi toy. It's really more plastic than anything else. Uh, it had a red back thing going on the front there. A lot of very small females. I don't think we're going to find the monster mothers uh, because I think this is all new infestation, you know, which has only evolved uh, at the beginning of this season, this spider season. Okay, what's underneath? Well, shock horror. I'm a little bit surprised. This looks pretty clean. I tell you, I've seen a lot worse than this. 
And this is one of these toys where the spiders can get up inside there and do nasty things. Mind you, who knows the WD-40 I did last year may have deterred some activity. There's a little bit of web there in the corner there, but not very much. The wheels look pretty clean, although these don't spin. These ones do. Um, put it this way, where you see web, you're going to see spider. It looks, you know, a little cicada shell there. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But I did see last night, I'm sure about it, I've just got a giant horse fly, something attacking me. Yes, there was web up here, so there's a red back hanging out there. And in my books, that's enough to warrant a firebomb. The little girls who were playing on their tractor last night, well, they're not playing any longer. One of those toy designs that was well a lot of plastic and very little metal i can't see any little redback spiders running out of that can you my crikey is there was uh <laughs> not much metal in that design about the anything poking up there is what was metal okay if i pull it up now it's going to be quite artistic yeah what that sound crispy little critter dusted I wonder when does a plastic toy become a metal toy and a metal toy become a plastic toy? There's one piece of metal in that design and there's the other piece. I suppose we should be grateful that we've got uh, <laughs> that as metal in the design, eh? So this is the last vehicle. We certainly know there is a larger female redback spider underneath their feeding. It had a Christmas beetle last night. It was quite a angry little girl. Uh, that's one of the cans of WD-40 that I used uh, last year looking very rustic now because a bit of time has passed. I think each vehicle got about a can and a half of spray Okay, uh, this little one here You probably find it's clean because the way redback spiders work is they love to be connected down to the ground Okay, so that was sitting in amongst the middle. You might have had some really young juveniles in there for a time um, But it looks pretty clean but we certainly know uh, Big Bertha here is not clean. <laughs> Do we really want to go underneath this one, boys and girls? Because we know what's there, don't we? Okay, let me uh, turn it over very carefully. The one thing about redback spiders, probably their saving grace is they're not a spider that scampers on you. They will reside or hide, uh, recluse back into their zone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they'll recluse into their zone rather than do the bolt and... Uh, <laughs> Ugh, not looking like I want to go under here. It's a very contrasty day. I will get the truck totally upside down. Uh, they're very hard to see. Black spider against uh, black plastic, isn't it? I do know for a fact that the spiders love to get up inside this area up here. Okay, it's like the perfect spider home for them. You know, these trucks, they love them. And I'll just get this uh, totally upside down. Don't like it, don't like it. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see where the spiders are. There's a couple of girls hiding out there. Let me see if I can go in closer. Right in the middle of the screen, right where it's going into shadow, there is a very small female. And the spider we saw feeding, and the beetle. Wow, it's right up inside the truck here. It is down here. I'll just see if I can spruik it into some action. No guarantees here because she is hiding from me, okay? I'm not sure. If I take the beetle away, there she is there. Can you see her there? I hope you can. Yeah, she's sort of balling up. She's trying to hide. I've got the sun popping in and out. It's a nightmare. It's a very hot day. The one thing I'll say here, I can't see egg sacs. Uh, that's about the only consolation. So these females... Oh, there's actually another one there. Oh, crikeys. Okay, let me show you one more. There's one there frantically doing some web work uh, right in the middle of the screen. Hope it's in focus. Sorry if it's not. So that's two um, small juvenile females, a teenager let's call it, the one which is down there with the beetle. I think there were other much smaller females which were just off being spiderlings here as well. Uh, basically this is a redback spider condominium. Now when I look at the design of this truck, it's like that female there, that's her little bay. Uh, the largest female, that's her bay there, that's her zone. And the other small female said, well, I'm going to live up here. They've all got little sections of the truck. 
And I suppose when you look at this, it um, starts to come across the argument, are they like a communal spider? Do they like living in like a colony, a community? Hmm. I'm not sure, I've seen it swing both ways. Well, as beautiful as spider these are, I've actually got a very hot date for these beautiful girls. Come this way, darlings. The best thing about this method is it is fast and effective. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Good night, little sisters! Woo! Now, before we get too carried away, let's just see if I can recover the carcass of one of those little girls, or maybe more than one. Okay, well, I've seen beetles drop. Oh, yes, yeah, I can see her. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, she's dead. I'm about to be whacked by a really big storm, so I better hurry up here. I'm yet to do a bit more firebombing because I can see web there. Now the spiders, I've actually got a bonus spider. I don't know what this one here is. Okay, but there's uh, one little sister there. There's the other little sister. And there's, well, teenage sister. And teenage sister may have been pregnant. Let's just check it out. No, she just failed a pregnancy test. There's a Christmas beetle that got caught up in the web last night. That was the Redback's last meal. And I'm not surprised at all, there is one of those black beetles that was also caught up in the Redback's lair. I'm in a race against time. There's about to be a big storm here. So I'll just uh, clean this up. And I've got a bit of a plan. I'm not going to totally wreck it. Just going to make sure there's no spiders on it. Oops, might have overcooked that one. Better take it back to the kitchen. I haven't got much time because <laughs> that's what's coming. In fact, I think that storm might have a bit of hail in it. It's got that hue to it. Oops, um, I think I put a bit too much heat into this. I can tell you one thing, uh, there's no spiders or anything on this at all. Totally clean. <laughs> Ew, yeah, well I do have a plan B. I do have a plan B. Let me just put that on the scrap heap. Oh, it's starting to rain. Um, plan B involves this vehicle here. Now, I saw these for sale on Ali. There was a blue one as well. And this is exactly what redback spiders would love to live under. It's metallic, okay? It's got little hidey holes there. It's got wheel zones there. Ooh, yeah. You know, I saw this and I thought, that's a redback's home. Yeah, so the storm's got me, hasn't it? What I'm going to do is very simple. You won't see it in this video, but trust me, I'm going to spray this stuff here, white lithium grease, all over this thing here, inside and out, and I'm going to go and put it back where those other toys were, and we'll come back in a year's time and see what happens, eh? I'm going to leave that one there untouched. It never got WD-40, but while the ants are there, I think it's safe. And the little red Corvette, or whatever it is, will be living somewhere there, covered in white lithium grease. I've got a really big storm about to wake me. I've got to get inside. I just hope there's enough education in this video for today's stupidly sensitive YouTube. That's hail. I can hear hail hitting the roof. Oh, here we go. Yes, here comes the hail. Also notice how dry the grass is here. Yep, there it is there. Oh, great. Let's just hope they don't get any bigger than this because they get bigger than that, they start damaging stuff. Hail's sort of okay until it gets big and starts to get heavy and I'm starting to see it uh, go in that direction. I think Mrs. Cow's safe. She's in a tub of water. That there's your typical sort of, yeah, hail colour in clouds. Evil sort of green tinge. I'm not sure whether you'll hear me, but that storm has doubled back and there's a lot more hail starting to fall. Can you see the hail down there? Yeah, it's certainly small, but... Uh, it's a bit scary! Oh yeah, it's really starting to pelt down now! It's a good hail storm, this one! If I'm lucky, the whole backyard will turn white with hail! But I'm not sure how long it's going to last! There's bits of hail there which have bounced in under the back patio! A lot of rain, yeah, very typical of an early summer storm! And you can just see the hail peppering around on the grass, in fact, the hail, bigger hail stones are starting to come back. I'm just going to go back inside. Fluffy, it's okay, it's okay, Fluff, Fluff, come here. 
Floppy is getting disturbed by the hail. She doesn't know what it is. I'm just going to calm it down here. I can just tell by the way her head's moving around, the way I first started to stick up. Uh, she's a little bit distressed, but I'll make sure she feels okay. It's okay, Fluff. You'll be fine. It's okay. That's the weird thing of hailstorms. You sort of never know which way they're going to turn. Oh, I've seen far worse hailstorms than that. Uh, that's just a mediocre one, a small one. And the most important place to look when you have storms is up in the sky because the sky is telling you what's going to happen next, I hope. Uh, maybe over there is a good sign. Oh, maybe not. I'm um, looking across there. I'm looking out to the west in a sense. I can see more storms in that direction. But what is a good sign for me is the way the weather comes at our places that direction. It does look like it's clearing up. I hope that's clearing up. I hope. That's a good sign. I can see jets flying by again. So normally when storms are around you don't see any jets. So hopefully those storms are clearing and be gone for the rest of the day. Crikey, that storm brought such a temperature change. Look at the Vaseline. It's gone back to solid. Now it was only a little while back. That was totally liquid. Yeah. On a cooler day you've got to get this stuff heated up so it's liquid to paint it onto the pots. I should show you this footage as well. It was taken back in July. That was our winter time. The cat there, well, we call it Bluebell. It's sort of in love with Fluffy, but it's not our cat. There wasn't one sign of spiderweb or any spiders at this time of year. Now, that's sort of normal, but to see how the spiders kicked off in this area, and I witnessed it myself, it was very insidious. It starts off extremely small, and when spring starts to wind up and summertime kicks in, by that time, the spiders have got complete hold of the area. Now, as I've learnt with these redback spiders, you can eradicate them with certain methods. You can come along and get rid of every one of them. You put the toys back there, and in the right time of year, they will reinfest the area within a week. That's how fast these spiders come back and set up homes again. They are very, very good at setting up in places where they feel comfortable. Now, the secret to controlling these spiders, well, it's not WD-40, because... As I've learnt, and I think we learnt in this video, that may have stopped the ants from setting up underneath these toys. I think the ants are a very, very important player in this spider control scenario. Because I saw the most ant activity around the items which were never sprayed. Now, in the strangest way, the items that were sprayed, in particular that big Tonka truck, that was the most problematic of the toys. Mind you, it presents as the best spider home for these nasty redback spiders. And I really couldn't see any trace of the WD-40 at all. Remember, these toys haven't been lifted up or turned over. It was really, really clean underneath. Apart from those red back spiders, of course, and their webby homes. So the people who were laying in comments saying WD-40 is a deterrent for spiders and stops them from setting up homes, I dare say that myth is now totally busted.